Oh, hello, and this is Sasha with me, I mean, now. Oh, June 1st. Even though I haven't really done much since the beginning of 2014. Wow, it's already June 1st already. I didn't pa time pass so fast already. I can't remember what happened in March. When Batman Arkham City right, was not coming to the Wii U. Wow, already, months have already passed. People forget things so quickly. And what's the new trend for this month? Well, I hope it's going to be interesting, but... Or m more failures to come, but... I haven't really been doing much yet. I'm playing Battlefield 3. It's very hard, Battlefield 3, to get a, to get to actually get... Since I'm using Origin, it's kind of a tough way to get to get into the multiplayer. But well, the single player is easy, easy, easy to get in, but the multiplayer part... I don't know, probably because there's so many people playing Battlefield 3 because it was free for a while. The deal does end around June 3rd. Like two days left, so I'll put a link in the description to check out Battlefield 3 for free on Origin. If anyone's interested. Even though I'm still going to give them my 360, I'm really glad I get to have the experience on PC. They have 64 players. And do you ever see that amount of players in any Nintendo game? You never see any, that amount. Even you can't even see 16 players in Mario Kart. And it was funny how some guy, I think some guy in the farm, he was like, oh, "But Mario Kart 8 was built to have fun. What's the fun in Mario Kart 8? Having gravity? Is that fun? Gravity? I know this is some Appa twist from the Avatar: The Last Airbender. I just have around. Just flying around in gravity. Is that really fun? Really? Flying around in gravity, is that fun in Mario Kart 8? I've noticed all the j the jaggies. I, I, I told you guys already, this game is not next gen. The Wii U, people are confirming the Wii U, not even next gen. 720p, 59 frames per second, no anti-anti-lacing. You can see all the jaggies everywhere. 4.9 gigabytes. That is not next gen at all. Even Xbox 360 games are bigger than that. Frozen 3 has, is way bigger than Mario Kart 8 this space. You know, Mario Kart 8, that game is not even fun whatsoever. Mario Kart TV is so restricted. The Wii U doesn't have any recording features to record your actual real gameplay you like to record. Nope, it's Mario Kart TV that has bare bones. I see a, sp a bunch of people spamming on that thing. God, I'm getting sick of that thing. 30 minute clips, 1 minute clips. Barely even summarize the races properly. And people say, bro, Mario Kart TV. It's Mario Kart TV. It's gonna be the greatest. No, it's pure trash. 1 minute, 30 minute seconds. Are you serious? Mario, what's the point? How, how am I supposed to actually enjoy this race that your people are watching? Just even focus on the actual character. Just skips like, let's say I have to, one of them like one minute. Just have each each twenty seconds to keep bumping into each character to see what they're do, how they're racing. That's so it's so horrible. Definitely, I have no re reason to even pay sixty dollars for this trash. Well, yeah, I'll call it trash value. But hey, another uh, what other things I've been playing? Um, I I am ninja. I was hyped, I was very hyped for I Am Ninja. I have very mixed feelings for I Am Ninja now. It's a game... <laughs> it's a game in 3... certain uh, game 3, 2, 1, I Am Ninja. It was very interesting. Actually, it wasn't interesting. I thought it would be as close as Pocky Ninja. Unfortunately, it's not as close as Pocky Ninja at all. It becomes very... Tr it becomes very boring very fast. The leveling up system is so almost impossible. There's no place where you can buy your items to customize your character. All the characters feel uninspirable. The dialogue is so cheap. It even makes... It even makes one of these Mario games successful. That's how bad the dialogue in I Am Ninja is. I was hyped to see how it would go, but oh well. The game, the game is not bad. Unfortunately. 
Oh well, who knows? After the closed beta, maybe the game actually will be better. Not so much I've been going on. I haven't really played care to play much games anyway. Not like YouTube. I just watch Watch Dogs at most times on YouTube. Not so much. People, people keep keep on keep mentioning this poster here. The only reason why I got this thing because it was 500 coins. That's all I had. And I wouldn't care much for anything else. That's all I had. An origin here is better than the eShop. Let's go to origin here. Um, I'll probably make a separate video about that. Darn it. <coughs> oh, well, whatever. Yeah, origin. I'll talk about that in a separate video later. I'll show you how much better it is than an eShop. Actually, let's talk one thing. Do you get any free games on the eShop? And don't mention, do not mention a Zelda, what, what was that crap, Four Swords, because that's a remake of an old game. Submarines, that's just, oh my gosh, that's trash. Origin, they're offering free games, they have decent prices, EA, as their game is the first party to them, they actually give price cuts to their games. Do you see Nintendo doing that? No, you still leave it for sixty dollars. I look at New Super Mario Bros. You this super e this trash, right? It's still sixty dollars on GameStop on GameStop's website. I mean, all these stupid all these games. How can, how can it be sixty dollars for this? Tr for this bo another game bad here game here. How can this still be sixty dollars? Why are we already getting price cuts for some games? Even third parties, you know, they get price cuts. And for those who buy games for $60, not a bad thing, but if you really want to invite the value of a game of a $60, you play it through and hope it doesn't get boring. Then you have some people who regret buying $60 games, but this game here, it should never be $60. A Mario game that's $60. Really? Even some games are 50 The fact that these people price it at $60... Since, yeah, of course, you already know the kids, they'll call the Wii U next gen. Oh, look at these cool graphics. Whoa, Nintendo game in HD? Whoa! So cool! Yeah, that's, that's pretty much what these Wii U fanboys are like. Oh, it's next gen! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! As if... During 2006 or 2005, they never saw HD graphics. Oh, next gen! Oh my gosh! Oh, snap! Nintendo do next gen console? Oh, sweet HD graphics. Well, back then, I remember. I, I don't think I heard we we fanboys talk about Bully for the Wii. Cause I saw when I saw the graphics for Bully on the Wii, it was poor, pure trash. Since GTA 4 didn't come out, they're downplaying it, calling that saying that Bully is better than GTA 4. Uh, I think there are some drones who are talking like that. Oh boy, no good. But yeah, that's pretty much. Um, what else can I do? Paint for Microsoft Word. Um, paint. Um, paint. I wish Paint had as good as Photoshop. Cause one thing I don't like about Paint is that you can't do proper selections and copy and paste the image. You actually want to try and copy and paste. That's that's one problem I have with Paint. And I wish you can get for, you can get something that's similar to to Photoshop, but I do that I do Photoshop in school. But the problem with Photoshop is that since Windows 8, since Windows and the Mac are different kinds of computers, it's very hard to save an image from a Mac to Windows. I don't know why I don't know what's up with Apple, but well, uh, we'll continue this for now. And what else I want to talk about? Oh yeah, Naruto. It's very annoying how around this time of Naruto. So now they they decide they decided I don't know Tokyo Studios. They decided how Naruto should be like from now on. Fillers, over fillers, over fillers, fillers, fillers. Like, are you serious, Tokyo Studio? Is that how you're gonna dedicate your fan base to Naruto to be Naruto ship within the actual show? Spinner fillers over fill like 
What the heck? That's now this this starting year. Right now we're supposed to be where Madara have having the war with Madara and Obi to we're supposed to continue that fight, but all of a sudden they decided to go to Kaka Kakashi because I don't know for whatever reason they decided to have a story arc of, of Kakashi, how he became an Ambu ninja and about Danzo and uh, Shunshi. Okay, I didn't mind that episode. Shunshi was actually the episode about Shunshi and Itachi was actually not bad at all. But uh, really, fillers like that, the fillers like the Kakashi, they were so pointless. I hate when I hate when they they, 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 they use flashbacks to justify one episode. Like some episodes about just full flashbacks and trying to make a meaning out of it. I hate that a lot. And I don't know, I don't know why why the heck they use these fillers. Are they trying to preserve the show? Because see, Bleach. Once Bleach was over, Bleach was over. There was no coming back. There's no bleach is over. Bleach is over. Just like um, some shows like Death Death Note. Once Death Note is over, Death Note is over. High School DxD. Once it was over, it's over. Like I hate how shows try to preserve themselves. Like you know that this TV series called Lost. I don't know if anyone heard about it. Lost. This Lost. It was very stupid how they tried to preserve the show in a stupid way. First, they get their, they find their, they are lost in the island. They find their way back. Then, oh wait, actually no, let's not go there. They are in the island. So, they, they try to make the, the meaning the lost in, the, in, the, in a different way, like completely scattered. Like, you see a polar bear. Unnecessary, you see a polar bear on an island. You see, like, pirates and, like, what, the, the cuss lost and they took the meaning lost in a huge it made it so like verse polar bears in an island all right let's, let's skip to another part of lost um oh yeah i remember when they get they fit they find their way out now they have to go back to the island to save other people or they need to look for a dead body back in the island like they find their way back they time travel some of them time traveled like, what the show, I don't know, I, oh my gosh, like, what is this show becoming? Well, that was just, a, that's time, time to compare it. This trying to preserve a show makes it a dying breed. Like, look at Spongebob right now on Nickelodeon. Even though I hardly watch, I don't even watch Nickelodeon anymore. Look at what they do to cartoons like Spongebob. Spongebob Squarepants. This trying to preserve it to a meaningless point. Real like, why are you preserving a show? That no one gives a crap anymore. Or hey, then again, Cartoon Network. Even though I don't, I hardly even watch cartoons at all anymore, at all. Even Cartoon Network, preserving meaningless, how, killing off shows. Then you put crappy shows like I don't know Adventure Time. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All these kids watch. They still have that like that Pokemon trash. I don't know what they call it, X and Y series nowadays. I don't really keep up with these things. Pokey Trap, that Pokemon X and Y series. Very meaningless series. So it makes me laugh at Pokemon X and Y. Dumb series altogether. Like all these shows trying to preserve each other. Like the days, I forgot that show. It has something to do with the days and the nights. Or it's, I don't know. It has like a show where every day is a new episode. Or family. Damn, I, I keep forgetting shows. I don't even watch these shows anymore. Modern Family. Keep on preserving. I'm like, when will that thing die off? Oh, man. It's just really crazy how shows... It's really just crazy how shows try to preserve each other every time. Let's die off. Have an happy ending. And, yeah, we'll all, we'll all miss it. So, yeah. That's like, that's video games. Some of the games don't want to have a concluding, and just like conclude and end. No, we have to, we have to keep on making more and more. Or you hardly even innovate. Like, see what happens to Mario games? Look where Mario has gone. How far will you keep on making Mario over Mario? Is it because you make them money? I think this is going to be the year why I, I don't even buy a Nintendo game anymore at all. I don't think I'm going to avoid all of them. 
I might get Call of Duty Advanced Warfare on the Wii U. Actually, so maybe on the 360, because of how bad the Wii U's online is. No achievement systems. No proper friend tags. I'm banned from Miiver, so I can't talk to anyone, so yeah. I'm actually not going to get the Wii U version. Who knows? I mean, Wii U fanboys will get Call of Duty on the Wii U. But for me, I'm not. Um, what else do I want to talk to? I don't want to talk to. Hmm. Oh yeah, these drones. Actually, no, Watch Dogs. I feel like, I feel like I'm going to get Watch Dogs sometime soon. Another feature, like when you have like a 20% price cut, because I'm trying to really get a 360 at this point. Or no, no, maybe in the summertime. I, I hopefully I'll get it. And I'm wraps up this video. Battlefield 3 is free on on Origin, but we use fanboys like, well, Battlefield sucks. It's not as fun as Mario Kart 8. Mario Kart is better in Battlefield. We have Watch Dogs. These Wii U fanboys. I, oh my gosh, they made me laugh so hard. Trying to compare a new IP Watch Dogs to Mario Kart 8. Oh, look at Metacritic. Oh my gosh. Oh, Watch Dogs got an 83. Oh, 73. Oh, Mario Kart got an 89 Metacritic. Ooh. Watch that sex! Oh, watch that shit! Watch that sex! I saw these... Oh gosh, man, these morons really make me laugh. <laughs> Even though Watch Dogs... I probably hate Watch Dogs. Hey, I, I, I'm interested in Watch Dogs, and I'm gonna hope, hopefully I'll get it. But not a full price, to be honest. I, I, honestly, I don't think I can hardly get any game off full price. And that's why I won't be buying Nintendo games at all, because due to that factor... They tell you they want to scam the heck out of you just to buy their games. Why well, you can get third par cheap third party games like Bully, GTA, I got this for 20 bucks, even though you can get this at $10 at GameStop. I don't know, I wanted a new copy since it was free, it was you new know, at Walmart. Uh, I'll wrap up the video. Get Battlefield if you're a PC owner, especially all you Wii U fanboys. You claim you're PC gamers. Then get Battlefield 3 if you want to. I'll put a link in the description to the Origin. Yeah, and there's some of you family that will never admit Origin is better than the eShop. Yeah, wraps it up there. Now stay tuned. Peace out. And bam. And hey, this, this is how a DS game looks like. And I also I also want to end this one here. And you can see a crappy. <laughs> I don't know, this is supposed to be a PSP because it, it fails to be one. Very weird thing. I got it from someone. Oh, my my brother got it from his friend. Like, what kind of, what, kind, what is this? Are you serious? Who knows, I don't know if Sony even found out about this. Maybe it's for PSP ROMs, who knows. I, I can't find a charger for you, oh well. Peace out.